So your diet should consist out of alcohol, black chocolate and berries. Yes! Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you knew, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're gonna check out BBC's latest video called Is a Vegan Diet Healthier Than Eating Meat and Dairy? Vegan versus Meat, an experiment with identical twins. Usually BBC's content is heavily copy strike protected, so let's see if they're gonna take this video down. Nevertheless, let's check out what is healthier. I really wonder. Let's have a look. We have been exploring adventuring for the last 10 years and a big part of adventuring is you know, preparing your body. For us, trying to keep our fitness um, interesting and trying to keep ourselves motivated, we tend to try and focus on these three month segments of fitness because we're genetically identical. So essentially what they say is you have two identical twins. They're both in their 30s now. They both grew up eating meat. And now for a couple of weeks, they're going to eat vegan and then tell you how good veganism is. We can compare various different foods, training regimes, and find out what works for us. So we wanted to test plant v animal. What was the best? What was the worst? What were the benefits? What were the drawbacks? Let's go. We wanted to use the model of identical twins who are genetic clones in order to test the effects of diet and exercise on the way they respond to foods. As I said in the beginning, it is a short term experiment. You have a 12 week experiment. In 12 weeks, no, you're not going to get deficient. This is useless. Uh, he turned vegan. The vegans would claim differently though. He just went plant-based. That's a bit vague. Calories. What does it mean? How about the macros? How about the micros? Go figure. I was on the vegan diet and it really does was. take a hit on your body. I think the first couple of weeks it was really craving of wanting meat and yeah. dairy and cheese, love cheese. I was now having to eat fruit and nuts and <laughs> alternatives that didn't have any dairy in. So that meant I was eating a lot more wholesome food, which meant that my sugar levels were a lot more satiated during the day. I felt like what? I had- It doesn't make any logical sense whatsoever. So first and foremost, you're craving your species specific diet. It is that simple. You were already an athlete before that and pretty lean. So don't tell me that you were living on junk food. You were already eating a somewhat healthy diet prior to veganism. And now you call it wholesome food because you've been brainwashed. Why is that wholesome food and meat and dairy is not wholesome? What defines wholesome? On top of that, he says, my sugar levels were much more stable. How? If you would really eat a diet based on dairy and meat, your sugar levels wouldn't rise and wouldn't drop. They would be constant all the way through. It is that simple. However, if you're eating carbs all day long, you have to constantly refuel in order to keep that sugar level constant. So maybe that's what he means. I felt like I had more energy. Performance was up and down a little bit more for me on my meat diet. I'd have a few days where I was very energetic in the gym and then I'd have huge lulls as well, whereas Hugo is far more sustained and satiated with energy levels. Again, the whole explanation is very vague. He says he had great outbursts of energy and then pretty big lows. What does that mean? So you had a huge energy outburst and therefore you lifted heavy weights and therefore after that you might need more recovery and hence you cannot work out as heavy. The vegan on the other hand is in a weakened state can't work out that heavy and hence doesn't need to recover as much. Being a vegan and going through that 12 week period, my diversity of gut bacteria severely dropped. Whereas yeah. mine, mine stayed the same, which meant that I was less susceptible to illness. It could be that that diversity <laughs> he was getting from dairy products and those other fats in meats uh, led to a slight reduction in, in the diversity. They're already in the top 5% of their gut microbiome health, so they, it's hard for them to push it uh, further than that. Now, there you have it. This guy just proved my point. They were already in a good microbiome health state, which means they already had a healthy diet prior to this experiment. There you go, healthy athletes, of course. 
fair enough. I'm actually happy to see this. They're not pushing veganism, but of course they're pushing diversity. Just to give yourself <laughs> As always. an aim to have 30 different plants a week to give it that diversity. Second is to always try and pick plants that have these natural chemicals called polyphenols in them, which gives them the bright colors or the bitter tastes. Why? Things like brightly colored berries or nuts or seeds, things like coffee, things like dark <laughs> chocolate and even red wine. Fantastic. So your diet should consist out of alcohol, black chocolate and berries. Yes. Thirdly, probiotic. Having foods that contain live microbes themselves, like mm. traditional yogurt, kefir, kombucha. And finally, it's cutting out ultra processed food. Watching Hugo eat all his vegan food. You do realize he had to stop there. His vegan uh, food. How much processed or <laughs> I say crap food you do eat compared to a vegan and you do become quite aware you go oh god like you feel guilty the whole time when you're uh, next to somebody eating very very healthy food but why is it very very healthy yet again there is never an explanation we only take it at face value vegetables and fruits are healthy why explain on average vegans are healthier than meat eaters <laughs> but within that there's a sure. huge range and there's some very unhealthy vegans and oh, wow. vegan diets and it does depend on the quality of the food it's not about whether you have meat on your plate or not and many vegans often find themselves eating ultra processed food because of reformulating standard foods particularly dairy substitutes and meat substitutes <sighs> i don't expect anything less from the bbc as i said at least they're not pushing veganism but at the same time they're pushing nonsense they're pushing misinformation and therefore they leave people confused it seems that's the main <laughs> job of the media nowadays how can vegans be healthier it is a completely deficient quote-unquote diet it's not even a diet it is a fast you have no fat soluble vitamins within a vegan diet you have no creatine no carnosine no cholesterol how can such a deficient way of eating be healthy there is not one person in the mainstream media that will ever address that are probably as Why? unhealthy as eating processed meats we both have high cholesterol because we lose a lot of weight on expeditions oh, wow. hugo's cholesterol dropped off the scale on the vegan diet whereas my regular meat diet just stayed the same my obesity level dropped my resistance to type this is the issue with the modern day and age it's in the subtleties when you put on a porn for example you already know it is bad you see naked people doing all kinds of ungodly things you already know instinctively this is not wholesome family entertainment however with netflix bbc all the mainstream stuff that we are absorbing on a daily basis normality is sold to you you have the kardashians you have jersey shore you have all kinds of degenerate formats that give you the impression that it is normal to behave in that way now you watch this show seems pretty unbiased two twins genetically identical <laughs> one eats vegan the other one eats meat what will happen hmm. but in reality again it's those subtleties Oh, my cholesterol dropped. Great. Wow. Why does Hong Kong have the highest life expectancy with the highest cholesterol levels? Nobody asks and nobody cares because they're not interested in telling you what is truly healthy. Higher cholesterol is linked to longevity every single time. But here in the West, they want to sell you statins. So let's just proceed. Let's not question it. Everything went well. Actually, we were just identical. Everything went great. You've been malnourishing yourself for 12 weeks. Congratulations, your cholesterol dropped. How would it be long term? You already said I was on a vegan diet. Why are you not anymore? Resistance to type 2 diabetes also increased. Athletes do it to improve performance. Normal humans would do it just to feel less tired, feel less hungry. Uh, Put on less weight. Yeah, try feeling less hungry on a vegan diet. Yeah. <laughs> See, exactly that. This all helps us to understand that there is no universal diet. Just shut down your mind, go to the supermarket and consume. Wow. <sighs> I've slightly changed my diet in the sense that I eat, I eat a lot more different things. Eat the rainbow, eat everything in moderation. Yeah, have a balanced diet. That's really the key, I think. Mm -hmm. If somebody says, right, you need to do this certain diet with these weights, 
to get the results, question it a little bit. Just go and have fun with it, experiment, find out what works for you. Question it a little bit. All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. As I said, I hope this doesn't get copyright striked. It will surely get demonetized. So if you like this video, at least leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And let me know in the comment section below if a balanced diet is the way to go. What do you think, guys? Is a vegan diet healthier? Absolutely phenomenal work, BBC. Congratulations. All right, but this is it for today. As always, guys, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.